What's up guys, I'm Kirk Gibson. Today I'm gonna to show you how to huck a flick in Ultimate Frisbee. If you wanna learn how to throw a beginner flick, take a look at my other video, How to Throw a Flick. But for today, we're gonna to learn how to throw a huck flick. Now a huck in Ultimate Frisbee is a long pass going away from the thrower. The receiver is running away from the thrower towards the end zone. So it's a really fun pass to throw. If you can master this throw, you'll be able to find your way onto most teams in Ultimate Frisbee. Okay, so the first part we're gonna look at is the grip. So if you wanna learn how to take a look at the grip, again, take a look at the other video. But for right now, we're gonna to go to the basic flick grip. And really what we're gonna do is grip it a lot tighter so from the basic grip these two fingers are going to push a little bit farther in with a little bit more power towards the outside edge of the rim these two are going to press a little bit harder on the inside edge of the rim the thumb this whole part of the thumb is going to squeeze just a little bit harder on the outside part of the top edge of the frisbee here and then here within the between these knuckles here you're going to really kind of push these together and what that's gonna do is be able to keep the Frisbee stable. And so when you kind of do this, it's not gonna move. If I loosen my grip, it'll move a lot. But when you are getting ready to power up and throw a long huck flick, you're gonna to wanna to grip this tight so that when you come through the zone, you'll be able to have extra power and that extra snap with that tight grip. And the next part is gonna be the step. So with the normal flick, we're either just kind of taking a small step out, maybe taking a slight step forward and throwing, um, or perhaps no step at all and just a lean. But now, to be able to get extra power, in addition to a tight grip, we're gonna wanna be able to take a step forward and maybe a little bit farther. So you're thinking about maybe a foot, foot and a half to get some power from perpendicular. So here, taking a step forward, and what that's going to do is give you some extra momentum and extra power to be able to get the extra distance on the flick. Now, the other way we can look at it is from the general flick st uh, stance, taking a step forward is to get some even extra power is to come back kind of in a, a ready position here and to really push off the back leg and lean through and push off to be able to get some extra momentum to put some extra power and torque into that release. So if I'm back here, I'm really leaning into my right leg. Most of my weight is here. And when I push off, it's gonna come through the zone and then I'll be able to add that extra torque to bring through just like that. So the last part is going to be the release. With a regular flick, you can essentially throw far from your body. You can throw it a little bit close. You can throw kind of a little bit higher, you can throw a little bit lower depending on the distance you want to throw it. But on a huck and to get maximum distance, generally the way to get that most torque is to keep your elbow close to your body when you're coming through the zone. So if I'm coming from a back step here and coming through the zone, I'm going to want to essentially lead with my elbow and keep it close to my body here. There's only a couple inches here. If you've even got a baggy shirt, you may be grazing uh, the side of the shirt. But as you come through, keep that elbow tight. And by bringing that elbow through the zone, your wrist will snap back and that'll help get some extra torque to be able to bring it through the zone. Now also, when you're throwing this on a long pass, when we talked about a regular flick, we talked about throwing it flat here you're going to want to keep the outside edge down a little bit. So when you come through the zone, you're going to want to release it almost like that. Because on a long pass, what it's going to do is essentially flatten out and balance. And if you throw it too flat, it'll turn over and won't sit up nicely for your receiver. So when you come back, when you come through the zone, don't think about throwing out here. It certainly is possible as you get more advanced. But to get max distance, keep that elbow tight, power off that back leg, and pull through the zone, and you'll be able to 
really get some nice torque and distance on your flick. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you can use these tips to help improve your flick hook.